टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रोमोमाइकोसिस दैट इज एक्चुअली दी सब क्यूटेनियस फंगल इन्फेक्शन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी द डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द क्रोमोमाइकोसिस सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we will see the different fungi that are actually involved in the chromomycosis so basically three genera of the fungi that are actually involved in the chromomycosis so first one will be the foncesia okay first one will be the foncesia okay second will be the cladosporium cladosporium and last will be the philophora philophora so here are basically the three most important genera of the fungi that actually cause the chromomycosis okay so these fungi are also called the dematitious fungi okay that is the most important thing these fungi are also called the dema fungi why do we call these fungi dematitious because they are actually dark in color so basically spores or you can say conedia okay spores and conedia are both the same things and you can say mold or you can say hyphae these are also the same things so basically spores or you can say conoidia and mold or you can say hyphae these are basically dark in color these are basically dark in color so that's why these fungi are also called the dematitious fungi black fungi or dark fungi uh, because the spores and the molds of these fungi are actually dark in color okay so most important thing these fungi are actually present in the soils so you can also say these fungi are actually the soil fungi because they are actually present in the soil that's the most important thing okay if we look at the chromomycosis okay that is actually the subcutaneous infection that is the most important thing this is the basically subcutaneous infection okay but the question is these fungi are actually present in the soil so when someone get injured or get the trauma then from the soil this fungi will enter into the skin through the trauma and cause the subcutaneous mycosis that is the most important thing okay next you will see the slowly progression of this disease slowly progression of the chromomycosis that is the most important thing chromomycosis develop with the passage of the time you will never see the sudden chromomycosis that is the most important thing and in that case you will see the granulomatous infection okay that is the most important thing granulomatous infection that is the most important thing in which you will see the activations of the immune systems to destroy the fungi so that is the granulomatous infections in the chromomycosis that is the most important thing okay here are basically the different uh, properties of the chromomycosis if we look at the clinical finding so basically chromomycosis look like so in the clinical finding you will see the wart like lesions what like lesions on the skin okay that is the most important and in these lesions you will see crusting abscess okay 
that is the most important thing on the crust you will see the abscess pus that is most important thing and these layers you will see along the lymphatics okay that is again you will see the lesions along the lymphatic systems you can't see the lymphatic system with the naked eye that is the most important thing so what like lesions you will see along the lymphatic system that is the most important thing that is the clinical findings of the chromomycosis or you can say chromoblastomycosis okay if you look at the lab diagnosis so basically in the microscopy what will you see in the microscope in the microscope you will see the round fungal cell okay round fungal cells so basically if you take the scrapings of the lesions and then you will prepare the slides for the microscopy you will see the round fungal cell or the specific name will be the sclerotic sclerotic cells or you can say medullary body or you can say copper penny body so here are basically the different names of the same things you can say the sclerotic cells medullary body and the copper penny bodies that is the important diagnosis of the chromomycosis that is what will you see in the microscope okay and next if we look at the treatment so that is the most important thing so in the treatment the patient will get the oral flu cytosine okay or the patient can also take the thia benda zol that is the most important thing and the conditions or you can also go towards the local surgery local surgery and the decision of the surgery will depend on the patient so decision of taking the medicines or drugs antifungal drugs or the local surgery vary from person to person that is the most important thing and these chromomycosis actually common in the tropics region and specifically in the bare legs and the bare foot that is the most important thing so this is all about the chromomycosis or you can say chromoblastomycosis if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much